All righty. Howdy, gang. Howdy, howdy. I am Kelvin Gary. I'm the owner and head coach of Body Space Fitness here in New York City. Uh, welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for joining me this morning. I'm uh, going to get you going here in a few minutes with a nice um, body weight style, or, although I'll give you like a few um, a few options if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell sort of deal. Um, but we're going to get going with a, a, a nice workout here in a second. Once we give everyone a, a few minutes to get on board, it's right at 7 o'clock on the dot. So I see we got a uh, few people already joining us. Um, so we'll give another few minutes, and then we'll get going with today's workout. But while we wait, just a little bit about me um, and a little bit my, about my place here in New York City. Um, Body Space Fitness, we're, we're a personal training studio, but we love what we do at group classes. I have a team of 10 amazing trainers that, that have, uh, throughout this whole thing, uh, this whole COVID thing, they've been awesome. Everyone's still on staff, everyone uh, doing what they love, right? But we've also had a couple opportunities to give back to our community and be a part of the change that needs to happen in our society. Um, and this is just another great event uh, uh, well, it really helped drive the change that we need to see. And, you know, uh, being an African-American in uh, this day and age, an African-American male, there's a lot of things that, that, that hit pretty close to home for me. And I'll share quickly what you guys, a, a story um, from a few months ago after the murder of George Floyd, uh, there were protests. Uh, in New York City, and one day I was actually leaving my studio here on 14th Street, which is basically in the heart of Union Square where a lot of things were happening, and I was here kind of getting some work done, and I walked out onto the street. Um, I walked out of my building and onto the street, and there was a protest going on, and I was on the phone with my mom as the protest was going on, and I, and I, I just had to stop for a second. Um, because as I looked at the sea of people going from 6th Avenue to 5th Avenue and beyond, so two city blocks wide, um, it was amazing that there were people of all colors, shapes, sizes, male, female, you name it. It was like, it wasn't just black. It wasn't just white. It was everyone. And... I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I actually like broke down in tears, like right there. It's just like, this, this is amazing. So it's, that's what, that's what change is all about, right? Everyone coming together to do the right thing and get the right thing done um, for society, right? Um, for everyone to be treated equal and everybody standing up to make that happen. So that was a pretty awesome thing to see. And thank you guys for being here today and for contributing. Right. So for today's workout, I did. I think we shared a playlist. That's a quick playlist. Nothing too crazy. Well, the way the workout's going to go is we're going to spend a few minutes doing a couple dynamic warm ups. Right. A couple minutes doing a few, a few dynamic warm ups. The first part of the exercise, gonna, uh, first part of the workout is going to be more core and plyometric. The second part of the workout will have a few more strength and plyometric things. And again, strength and body weight. Most people might say, well, how does that work? But we'll. There are ways to do it, right? Um, and then the last part of the workout, we'll do a quick metabolic finisher. Now, I'm going to do as much of the stuff with you guys as possible, but there are also going to be times where I'm going to jump up while you're working and get to the screen and cheer you on and then go back down to the ground and work myself. If you guys have any questions, I'll be trying to watch the comments as much as I possibly can, too, just in case anyone has a comment. I don't want to be down on the ground and there's, like, comments flying over here as well, right? So awesome job. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. Uh, awesome job. And again, I have, um, I think I shared a playlist. If not, I'm also going to share a playlist really quickly on my Instagram, which is at Kelvin Gary is, um, is my um, Instagram handle. And I think what I just did is 
share the playlist on my stories. So if you guys want a, play, a quick playlist to go along here, um, pause. There is some Beyonce on my playlist. I'm okay with that. Hey, there it is right there. Um, I'm a I'm a big Beyonce fan. So I'm a, I'm a guy that's okay putting Beyonce on the playlist, right? So feel free to take that and follow along. Awesome. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get you up. I'm going to get to hopefully where you guys can see me. If you guys can't see me, let me know. I'll move around the room, all right? Awesome. So we're going to start with a couple walking knee grabs, and we're quickly going to do about five of those on each leg just to start to get the hamstrings warmed up a little bit. I like to step out of it, grab my knee, pull my knee towards my chest. This is four. Boom. I'm going to do that one more time on the right, and then one more time on the left. Awesome. Shake it out a little bit. Now I'm going to take right hand, grab right ankle, pull it back, lean forward just a little bit, stretch my quad, stretch my hip out. Again, I'm going to kick out of that. I'm going to do that about five times on each side. Five times on each side. And the key there, I know it's early, don't fall over. If you fall over, we'll dust you off, pick you up, and keep it moving, right? Awesome. Two more on each leg. Boom. Awesome, guys. One more on each leg. And good deal. So start to warm up your stability as well because we're going to need that here in a second. Now, next order of business, I would like you to take right hand. You're going to kick the left foot up to it. You're going to switch sides. I like to step in between as well. Start to stretch the hamstrings out a little bit more. Great job, gang. Boom. Now, you do one more on each side, at which point we're going to start to go laterally. Stretching the adductors out just a little bit. I'm going to go here, touch the ground, stand back up. Here, touch the ground, stand back up. Boom. I'm just doing five lateral lunges to each side, right? Here. Boom. Boom. Boom, right? We'll do one more. Lost count, but I think I'm on five, right? Awesome. Now we're gonna do something to kind of warm up our core a little bit, warm up our shoulders a little bit. Make sure, got it. Make sure our shoulders are warmed up a little bit, open up the hips a little bit more. I'm gonna do an inchworm, walk myself into a plank. When I get into that plank, I'm gonna step my right, hip, my right foot towards my right hand. At that point, I'm going to raise my hand to the ceiling. I'm going to switch feet, repeat with the hand before I walk myself back up to standing. That's going to look like this. I'm going to be here. Walk myself into a push-up position. Step right hand to right foot, reach up. Left hand to left foot, reach up. Straight legs, walk myself back into a point or I'm... Stand up, squeeze my backside, stand up tall. Repeat that, you're gonna do that for a total of five times. Here we go, walk yourself out. Go here, here. Walking yourself back up, awesome. Now remember, here, that's opening the hips, getting the shoulders open. Open the hips, get the shoulders open, walk yourself back up. You got two more of those. You may also pick up the tempo if you like to. And time. Awesome. So here's what we're going to be doing next. Check the time. Awesome. I have a clock, you guys can't see it, it's on the wall over there, but I'm gonna be keeping time on everything that we do. First round, I'm gonna give you three exercises. First exercise is gonna be a core move. Second exercise is gonna be a plyo move. Third exercise is gonna be a, a core move as well, right? You'll go 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds to catch your breath and be ready to go to the next exercise, right? Awesome. So, first order of business is going to be a plank shoulder tap, right? 
Your options are hold that full plank like you're about to do a push-up, but don't do a push-up. Here, here. Try not to let those hips move. If that's too hard for you, raise your leg, raise your leg. If you're in beast mode this morning, take right hand, lift right hand, left leg at the same time. That's order biz number one. 40 seconds of work on the clock there. 20 seconds to catch your breath. Order biz number two is going to be a simple ice skater with a pause. And I say with a pause because I want you to stop, stick the landing, and stabilize. So lateral bound, I'm here, boom, boom, right? Boom. You may also yell boom if you like to, like I just did. Also, making sure that your arms are part of the equation because they're part of your propulsion system. That's order biz number two. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Order biz number three. And on this one, I'm gonna be giving you a cue to switch halfway through. It's going to be a side plank. And what I would like for you to do is make sure that your feet are not stacked. Your feet are gonna be staggered. Top of your, your, your top foot is gonna be forward. Here, you're gonna reach up, reach through, reach up. Or reach through, reach up, reach through, reach up. You need to make that harder at a dip. Boom, pow, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, we switch elbows and keep it going. Any questions, comments, regrets, reservations? Yes, sorry, I say boom a lot, I apologize. So here we go, guys, 40 seconds of work. I'm gonna start the clock, make sure I keep an eye on it. I'll let you know when we got 10 seconds and I'll count you down at five. The 20 seconds is to catch your breath and be ready for the next exercise by the time the clock goes beep. Awesome. All right, gang, here we go. Ready, set, and go. First one is the plank. I'm here, full plank, shoulder tap. Let those heels stay nice for those uh, toes stay on the ground, hips stay nice and steady. Boom, all right? Try not to shake, shimmy, rock and roll the whole time, all right? If you gotta get your feet a little bit wider, it's a wider base of support. You guys doing great. You got 10 seconds left from here. Awesome job, gang. Three seconds, two, one, and time. Great job. Now, I think I might wake up the neighbors here today. That's okay. Um, you guys got 10 seconds. Next exercise is that ice skater. Remember, I'm a lateral bounding. Boom, stick the landing. Stick the landing. Stick the landing, all right? Here we go, ready, and go. Take it away, gang. Making sure the arms, are moving along with it. That's part of your propulsion system, right? Boom. Want to make sure you're able to stabilize and control your momentum. Control that load over one foot, right? I don't want to see you do one of these things here, right? If you do, that's okay. We fix it and we get better on the next set. You guys got 10 seconds left here, 10 seconds. And time, great job. Now, as you catch your breath, 15 seconds. Let's all start on our right elbow. Left foot is in front, right? Here, here, arm up, reach through. Here we go. 20 seconds on this side. We switch at 20 seconds by coming over to our elbows and just facing the other direction. 10 seconds on this side, gang. 
Awesome, switch sides. Boom, just as fast as I just did it, right? Good news is, if your switch wasn't perfect, you'll have a few more times to get it, all right? Awesome job, gang, five seconds left here. And time, hey, pause for a sec. Give yourself a round of applause for finishing set number one. I just messed up the clock, but that's okay. Now, those three, that's our warm-up set. Get our core warmed up, get our nervous system warmed up for everything else they're gonna be doing later. All righty, awesome. Any questions, comments? But, um, awesome. All righty, guys, here we go. Set number two, plank shoulder tap, right? If you wanna get fancy with the hands, out to the side, tap your shoulder, right? That is another progression. All righty, gang, here we go. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds, catch your breath, be ready to get to the next station. Ready, set, and go. Trying to be fancy. It's not easy being fancy. Guys doing great. 20 seconds left here. 20 seconds. So remember, the goal there is to try not to let your hips shake, shimmy, or wobble. 10 seconds left, guys. You got it. And I can't see you, but I believe in you. So let's keep it going. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, and time. Awesome. Now, here's what I'll say. As a progression for the lateral hop, feel free to, if you get over, boom, and land, and want to do a jump in place, land, boom, pop, boom. You may also do that as a progression. Here we go, guys, lateral bounds, 40 seconds, just a normal lateral bound, or if you want to add the progression now, boom, hop. Boom, hop, right? Boom, hop. Great job, gang. 20 seconds left here, 20 seconds. Remember, more important to stick to landing and be stable. If you can do that easily, add that hop in there. 10 seconds left, guys, 10 seconds. I lied, three seconds, two seconds, time. This stuff. 20 seconds, side plank, next set. Awesome job, gang. Here we go. We got five seconds left here. Again, if you wanna add a dip, come up, reach through, that's a great progression, go. Great job, gang, 10 seconds left on this side. Make sure top foot is front of the other. Three seconds, two, switch sides. Great job, gang. Almost there. Five seconds left here, four, three, two. Great job, time. Now. In between those three, you get about 30 seconds of rest, right? Guys, this is our last time through this set of exercises. So we know what we're doing now, all 60 of you. If you have any issues or any questions, let me know. No questions? Awesome. Hopefully you're getting warmed up by now, all right? So last time through these. Plank shoulder tap, lateral bound. And here's another thing I'll say about the lateral bound this time. If you want to now jump, boom, 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 boom. And make it a little bit more continuous, less to the stick the landing. And you can do it without being wobbly. Do it, right? That's a progression too. Tempo is a progression, right? So let's add that progression in there. 
if you are ready for it. Quicker tempo, less stabilizing um, in between each hop, right? Here we go, gang. Ready, set, and go. Last round here, last round. Sorry, I started with the plank. Here we go. We're going plank. My bad, sorry. Plank, plank, shoulder tap, plank, shoulder tap, plank, shoulder tap. Plank shoulder tap, right? Hopefully everyone switched over to the plank shoulder tap. Boom. Boom, right? Awesome job, guys. 15 seconds left. I got excited about those ice skater progressions. I was like, let's just do this for all three exercises. You guys got five seconds left here. Three seconds, two, and time. Now we do the ice skaters. Now I'm back in line, doing the right thing at the right time, right? You guys are doing great. You got 10 seconds before we get to those ice skaters. We'll pick it up, add the progression of tempo. Ready, and go. Great job, guys. 25 seconds left. Try to keep it up. Right? Try not to let that back foot touch. Stabilize. Explode off of one leg. Great job, guys. 10 seconds. Hang in there. You got it. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, and time. Last time through with those side planks. Last time through with the side planks, guys. You got 10 seconds before we get there. All righty, here we go. Three seconds left, two seconds, and go. Boom, reach through, reach up. Reach through, 30 seconds to go. Great job, guys. Switch sides in three seconds, two. Switching sides, even it out. Great job. Almost there, five seconds left. Three, two, and time. Awesome. Shut the clock off for a second. Now. This next round, uh-oh, I broke my clock. There we go. Grab a sip of water, hydration is key, if you need it. Any questions about what we're doing so far, right? Check the notes, no, boom. I like to pair lower body, upper body, and core. And that's how we're gonna do it. now. With my assumption being, and then we'll be doing an alternating knee grab sit up. Uh oh, says my connection's unstable. There we go. I think we're back. Um, awesome. So, first order of business is going to be a squat. I like for you to think about hip width apart with your feet. It is okay to turn your feet out a little bit. We're okay with that. When you squat down, I actually want those knees kind of pointing out just a little bit. They don't have to be perfectly straight as if you were standing on railroad ties, right? Gives you a little bit more freedom in your hips. Now, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, I invite you to take that dumbbell or kettlebell and hold it in what we call goblet position. That's like this. The reason we hold things like this is because it's like a plank. And it gives me a little bit more core activation that helps me get down into a better squat position, right? So if I have a dumbbell, I want to hold it here, squat down, squeeze my backside, stand up tall. And I say squeeze my backside, stand up tall because you shouldn't feel a squat all in your quads. Now, with this squat, I'm going to have you pause for a count of two at the bottom of the squat. To be here, one, two, squeeze my backside, stand up tall. One, two. Squeeze my backside, stand up tall. And we'll be doing two-second pauses for the whole 40 seconds. 
That's order business number one. Order of business number two. Make sure you guys can see me. You're going to come down to the floor. Arms straight out, legs straight out. Lift arms and legs like you are flying. Pull your arms back. Squeeze those shoulders. Up. Squeeze. Back up. Squeeze. Now, to lift my legs, I am squeezing my tuchus as hard as I can the entire time to keep my legs lifted off the ground. Right? And then when I pull my arms back, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades as if I'm trying to squeeze a grapefruit in between them. Got it, right? Last order of business, exercise number three. It's gonna be an alternating knee grab sit up. What I'll say is you'll start flat, right? You're gonna start flat here. You're gonna sit up, pull your right knee towards your chest. Sit up, pull your left knee towards your chest. Alternating, boom, right? But I want you to think when you sit up, you're hinging at your hips. You're not rounding in your spine. You're grabbing that knee, pulling your chest up nice and tall to have as neutral of a spine as possible, right? So we got squats with a two second pause, either body weight, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, hold the one, right? If you have only body weight and you want to add intensity to the squat, pause for a count of two and jump out of that squat. That's another way to do it. Black pulls, order biz number two. Order biz number three is the sit-up. Now, somebody give me a thumbs up or something if you guys got it and we're ready to go. Awesome. But um, all righty. Here we go, gang. So we got 40 seconds of work. 20 to 15 seconds in between each. And hey, thank you, Shiz. Let's go. All right, here we go, gang. Ready? Squats first. Two second pause at the bottom. Ready, set, and go. One, two. Up. One, two. Up. Making sure those heels stay glued to the ground and squeeze your backside as hard as you can, like you are trying to crack a walnut between your cheeks at the top. And that will take it out of your quads a little bit as well. The squat is a knee extension and a hip extension exercise. It should not all be in your quads. You guys are doing great. One, two, right? Ten seconds left here. Ten seconds. One, two, five seconds left. Four, three, two, and time. Great job, guys. Awesome. So remember... I know. My goal is to have a bunch of nice behinds walking around my gym. So even in this exercise, squeeze your backside, bring your legs off the ground, right? Here we go. Squeeze, reach, squeeze, reach. Boom, right? Think about doing a pull-up. Now, I know we're not pulling against the line of gravity, which is towards the ground, but we have to use our rhomboids to keep our arms up. Right, so we are using some very important posture muscles. 13 seconds left, guys. Think here, those are the same muscles that you're using to keep your arms up. Three seconds left here, two seconds, and time. Great job, gang. Now, 20 seconds. Remember, alternating legs, right? Because I don't want to wear out your hip flexors too much, so one leg at a time helps us still get that sit up without taxing our hip flexors too much, right? And go. Great job, gang. Thank you for getting up with us at 7 a.m. this morning. Crushing life, keep it going. 25 seconds left here. All right. Fifteen seconds left, guys. Fifteen seconds. Awesome job, guys. Three seconds left here. Two seconds. And time. Hey, virtual high fives. I know. Who else misses high fives? I, I, I really miss high fives. It's going to be hard when we open. It's funny because I have a sign that I had to put up that says, 
Please don't high five. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be happy when I get to take that sign down and finally get to high five people again. Um, awesome, guys, doing great. Second set's coming up. Remember, if you have a weight, you may use it for the squat. Um, if you have a weight and want to use it for a sit up too, feel free to use it on that. A weight for the lat pull for this particular exercise. It would need to be light, right? So that it doesn't cause you too much uh, stress in your traps. So if you got like three, five pound dumbbells, two pound dumbbells up to 10, I would say 10 would be as high as I would go for lat pulls because it might get too trappy. And um, for as much as I love you guys, I don't want you to end up with shoulders like a, like a linebacker, right? Or a neck pain, either one of those two. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice. Awesome. Here we go, gang. Second set. Let me grab my timer. Now, two second pause. The progression is jump out of that if you don't have a weight. Here we go, gang. Ready, set, and go. Now, great job, you got 25 seconds left. If you're wondering what the heck does this pause do, it basically kind of takes some of the elastic nature out of the um, eccentric movement and makes you have to work harder for the concentric contraction for you to come out of that squat, right? So you can't just use momentum. It takes the momentum out and you gotta actually activate your muscles a lot more to come out of that squat. Three seconds left, guys, two seconds. Great job, time. So again, when thinking about how to change your workouts at home, it's not all about adding weight. You can add um, things like time and, and, and um, other things to, 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 to add um, the need to have to coordinate more, right, uh, into, into the workout. All right, again, here we go. We got two seconds left here, ready. And go. Boom. Remember, keep your backside squeezed. Hips high, right? And the reason I say keep your backside squeezed is because your glutes and lats are connected through something called your posterior oblique subsystem, right? So when you think about working your glutes and working your lats, those two things work together. You guys got 15 seconds. So, Whenever you're doing things like bridges, if you can do something to activate your lats, it's gonna help you activate your core and your glutes better, right? Guys got three seconds. That's up here, two minutes. Time. Great job. Hey, back to the sit-ups here, right? Back to the sit-ups. And again, the um, progression here is just to be either add a weight or go up in tempo a little bit, right? Add a weight or go up in tempo. Awesome. Here we go again, okay. three seconds, two. Got it, great job guys, 25 seconds left. Fifteen seconds left, gang. Fifteen seconds. I lied. It's ten seconds now. It took me five seconds to say fifteen seconds. Awesome. Three seconds, two, and time. Great job. Now, you're gonna rotate to your water bottles. Take a few seconds. Grab a sip of water, and we got one more time through this round. Check on time. Doing good on time. One more time through this round, then we move on to our next round. Right. Um, I kind of made a little joke there, but yeah, your glutes are super important. There's a lot of times where I try to include glutes and daggum near everything that we do. Um, because especially for those of you who are runners and people have been doing a lot more running during this time of workout at home and COVID and they're, they're having knee pain, they're having back pain 
And one of the things they don't realize is like sometimes weak glutes, tight hip, tight hip flexors because we've been uh, sitting a lot more than usual. Um, weak glutes are the, are the kind of the root cause of a lot of that knee and back pain, right? So whenever you can, oh, and your glutes are a part of your core. Keep that in mind too, right? So whenever we can, we try to get a little bit of glute work in there, hashtag peach emoji. All righty, so for this last one, again, if you're ready for it, add the progression. If you have a weight, add the weight. Pause, you looking at my chin. Sorry, here's my face. Um, go ahead and add the weight, right? Your last time through these three exercises, then we move on to our next three, then we got a finisher, then we air high five, call it a good day. Awesome. Here we go, gang, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, starting with that squat. Ready, set, and go. Boom, right? Pop, nice. And it's almost like I'm standing up as quickly as I can, almost like I'm jumping, but not leaving the ground, right? So it doesn't have to be a slow standing. It can be a nice boom, squeeze, activate those glutes, drive those heels into the ground and stand up tall, right? Guys doing great. You got 15 seconds left here. And again, if you're jumping, jump, take off, land softly, descend into the hip flex position, that squat. You guys got three seconds left here, two seconds, Time, great job. Awesome. Now, flat pull. Remember, keep the glutes squeezed, legs off the ground. Um, making sure that you're not hyperextending your back, though, right? Glutes, lats, but don't hyperextend. Here we go, guys. Two seconds. And go. I'm here. I'm not here. Ugh, I'm here, right? I know, I said don't hyperextend it, then I did it to show you what it kind of looks like, but it does not feel good, so don't do that, right? 20 seconds left in, 20 seconds, hands up, squeeze. Don't let those hands touch the ground. Keep those rhomboids turned on. Keep those middle traps turned on. Squeeze those lats at the bottom. Three seconds left in, two seconds. And time. Hey, you got your last set of sit-ups. I can't see you all, but I hope that everyone's doing great and enjoying the workout so far. Again, our goal this morning is to not crush you into the ground. It is, however, to get things turning on because for most of you, there's a good chance that this isn't the last exercise that you do today. All right, gang, here we go. 40 seconds of sit-ups. Okay. Wave at the people across the way who are looking out their balcony at me, wondering, what the heck is this guy doing in there? No one's been in that gym for a while. <laughs> Great job, guys. You guys got less than 10 seconds here. And time. Awesome. Take a second, grab some water. I'm going to stop my clock. We got three more exercises here. Um, and then we move on with the business of the business. Now, this next exercise, um, what I would like to do is everybody's arch nemesis, a push up. No, it's not everybody's arch nemesis, but still, one of the exercises that we're going to do is a push up. But before we do that, we're going to do a single leg deadlift. Now, or a single leg RDL, whichever one you want to call it, Romanian deadlift, because we start standing. What I'll say is this. If you don't have any weight, the goal is to sit back in your hip, reach towards the ground, but keep your spine nice and neutral. I don't want to see you around, right? Now, and then squeeze back up, put both feet onto the ground. The reason I say put both feet on the ground because I really want you to focus on squeezing both cheeks when you get to the top. A lot of times when people try to balance, they forget to really squeeze that glute. Now, if you have a weight, feel free to, in the hand that the weight is in, that's the leg that's going to be moving back. Uh oh, don't fall. You need to squeeze and stand up. 
giving more rotation because the weight is outside of your base of support makes you turn your glutes on more. If you don't have a weight, one of the progressions that you can add is to take your right hand and reach across. So instead of reaching straight down, I want you to think you got to reach across to get that rotation, squeeze and stand back up. Try not to let your knee collapse in. That's a sign that your glutes not turning on to keep your femur stable, right? So I want you to think here, reach across, keep the knee, hip and foot, foot, knee and hip all aligned with each other. That is going to be order business number one. Order business number two is going to be a push up. Now, here's what I'll say about my push up. It's a plank, right? It's a dynamic plank. But one of the things that's going to help you with your plank and your push up is squeeze your backside so your core turns on as much as it possibly can to help you shift that force from your upper body to that dead weight in your lower body to get your body off the ground. You're going to be here, here, squeeze, here. Now, in this situation, if you got to come to your knees to do a push up, I am okay with that as long as you consider that I want you to keep your backside squeezed as hard as possible and stay as flat as a board between your knees and your shoulders. So if you're down doing a push-up, I don't want to see you do one of these things. That's a butt up, right? I'm here, squeeze my backside. Straight as a board between my knees and shoulders, here, here, right? If you're in absolute beast mode in life this morning and living your best quarantine workout life, you may do a staggered push-up. What the hell is a staggered push-up? Regular push-ups are here. Hands even with my shoulders, elbows out at 45 degrees. A staggered push-up is one hand higher here, right? That is if you have woken up this morning and you're like, I'm about to crush life. I'm going to try some staggered push-ups today. We're okay with that, right? That's order biz number um, two. Now, order biz number three, keeping with the core, keeping with the glutes. It's kind of a plank variation, but we're going to be doing a bird dog. Here's the thing that I want you guys to think about your bird dog. It can be made to be incredibly difficult with no weight, not even adding a band around your feet, right? So bird dog, I want you to come to all fours. Hands, uh, that's six is really one, two, three, four, five, six. Hands, knees, toes. Right hand is going to go straight out. Left leg is going to go straight back. When that leg goes back, I want you to think, I'm not lifting my leg. I'm extending my leg straight back. And so that should look like, if, as if you were standing, it would look like this. You're extending that leg, squeezing your backside, boom, reaching. Reaching that heel and reaching that arm as far as you can. That's going to get the muscles in your posterior core to fire up. Now, if you want a progression from that, you'll do what we call an inline bird dog. That is where we take the hand that's on the ground and the knee that's on the ground and put them in line with each other, almost as if you were doing the bird dog on a balance beam. That looks like this. I'm here. I'm going to take that right hand, put it right in line with my left knee, and extend. And of course, the wall is behind me. And extend. I got to work a hell of a lot harder on that narrow base of support to stabilize. But again, if you're a runner, which I assume that a lot of you on here might be, that's a key exercise for you guys, right? Key exercise. Now, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest is going to be our last round for the day. Anything else, you guys can Q&A me. Um, and then I have a little surprise for everyone, too, at the end here, right? So we got 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Ready? Single leg deadlifts. And go. Awesome. Now, I'm going to tell you when to switch halfway through. I'm here, squeezing my backside, standing up. Here. Whoa. Squeeze my backside, standing up. Don't fall over. If you do, we'll pick you up. Dust you keep moving. Awesome. Great job. That's halfway. Switch legs. Boom. Whoa. Don't fall. Squeeze. Stand up. 
Squeeze, stand up. And again, slight knee bend, a lot more hip hinge. Squeeze out of that hip hinge, come on back up. Awesome. Push ups are our next thing. Two and time. Great job. 20 seconds to catch your breath and be ready to go to the next station, right? Awesome. This is probably the, the most I've like yelled and screamed in a long time. Here we go, ready, push-ups, go. Again, if you wanna go beast mode, stagger those hands. If we're coming to our knees, keep your backside squeezed as flat as the board between your knees and shoulders. Hands at about shoulder height. Elbows at about 45 degrees. 15 seconds left, gang. 15 seconds. Awesome. Three seconds left, gang. Two seconds. And time. Great job. Now, your last exercise is going to be that bird dog. So remember, either, either hands directly underneath shoulders, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Extend the right leg, extend the left arm, back. Here, back. Stick to one side. Don't alternate. I'll let you know when to switch sides at 20 seconds. On this one, we might wait too much valuable work time alternating sides, right? You guys are doing great. 25 seconds left here, 25 seconds. Awesome. Killing it, gang, killing it. 10 seconds left. Check the questions, no questions, awesome. Hello from Richmond, Virginia, and time. Great job. Catch your breath for a second. Hey, we got that to do two more times through. So here's the surprise. Um, and I like to wait until later on in the workout to make sure that the people that stayed on the whole time hear this. I tag Body Space NYC or at Kelvin Gary and tag Class Pass in it. I'm going to be giving away a free uh, TRX Pro kit. We're going to put the names in a hat. Shake it up, and we'll let my seven-year-old pull the names out of the hat. So um, take a screenshot, post it on your story, shout out Class Pass, and thank them for putting this together. Shout out at Body Space NYC or at Kelvin Gary. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing that drawing later on today for a, a, a TRX Pro at home kit as a thank you for you guys joining me today and then staying for the whole class and not like ducking out at the beginning, right? Awesome. Here we go, gang. 40 seconds of work. Let's go back to those single leg deadlifts. Ready, set, and go. Awesome. I'm okay when you take a little bit of extra time and focus. And uh oh, I was balancing there. I don't want you to balance. I want you to squeeze both cheeks at the top. Great job. Five seconds on this side. Don't fall over. And good. Switch sides. Great job, guys. You guys got 10 seconds left here. 10 seconds. Three seconds left here. Two seconds. Back to the push-ups and time. So now, here's what I'm going to do. Since I'm running short on time, I will only give you guys about 10 seconds to get ready for those push-ups, right? Awesome. All righty. Here we go. Second set. Push-ups. Ready, set, and go. Remember, keep your backside squeeze nice and tight so, there's your, so that you're as flat as a board between your knees and your shoulders, or if you're doing a full push-up, between your ankles and your shoulders, right? Squeezing your backside, making sure you can transfer that force from your upper body to the dead weight in your lower body. 20 seconds left, guys. 20 seconds. And then breathe. Big exhale. When you push yourself up from that ground, right? That's also going to get your core working better, get your nervous system working better. 10 seconds left, gang. 10 seconds, I know. I'm throwing a lot of cliff notes of exercise out there. Sorry about that. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Time. Breathing is super important for controlling your nervous system, therefore working out better. So focus on your breath, even 
on the bird dogs. <sighs> Big exhale when you reach and extend, right? Guys, bird dogs, 10 seconds is up. Ready, set, and go. We're right, keeping that spine nice and neutral. There's no such thing as a flat back. If we have a flat back, we have problems. 20 seconds left here. Switch sides. Your spine has a normal curvature to it. We want to keep that normal curvature going the entire time. Right. Boom. Guys doing great. You got 10 seconds left here. And then we go back to the single leg deadlifts one more time. We're only going to take about 10 seconds in between now. Awesome. Here we go, gang. And time. Great job. Now, last set, best set, we like to say. Coach of mine named Martin Rooney. That was his uh, famous saying was last set, best set. So if you've been holding anything back, stop that. Don't hold anything back, right? 40 seconds of work. Pause. I'm going to make this 30 seconds so we have time to stretch out a little bit and um, give you guys some more information, right? Awesome. 30 seconds of work. Ready, set, single leg deadlifts, and go. Okay. I'll let you know when to switch sides here in a few seconds. Also, again, go ahead and switch sides. Guys, doing great. You're crushing it. Keep it up. We got five seconds left to your four, three, two, and time. Great job. You got 10 seconds to get back to those push ups here. All righty, here we go, gang. Ready, set, push ups, and go. Great job, gang. Remember, big breath to bring yourself back up off the ground there. Making sure you keep your backside squeezed. It's a tricep exercise. It's a shoulder exercise. It's a chest exercise, right? But making sure you push yourself up away from the ground. Great job. It's the last exercise of the day, which is the bird dogs. They're going to run and grab something real quick, and I'm going to come back and grab you. Here we go. Last set, bird dogs. Awesome job. Switch sides. You're halfway. Halfway. All up in time. Hey, good news. You are complete of today's workout, right? Um, sorry, I did talk a little bit there today. Want to make sure I'm um okay with everyone's time but what i want you to do quickly is you're going to come to your right knee you're going to go right knee right hand is going to go up you're going to squeeze right cheek drive your hips forward and reach up nice and tall and you're going to hold that stretch for three nice big inhales and exhales right and i say three inhales and exhales instead of 30 seconds because a lot of times people will stretch and hold their breath for 30 seconds, which does us no good, right? Inhale, exhale. Now, from here, I'm not gonna switch legs. I'm simply going to put my hands to the ground and shift my hips back, straighten my front leg out, boom, right? To stretch that front hamstring out a little bit. And I'm gonna hold that for three nice big inhales and exhales. Awesome. Once I've done that three times, I can now go ahead and switch legs. Left knee goes on the ground, take left cheek, squeeze it, take left hand, reach up in the air. Inhale, exhale, three nice big inhales, three nice big exhales. 
All right. So, guys, thank you all for joining me. Funny enough, this was like, I mean, I, I've had, um, there's, there's been a lot going on during this whole quarantine time. Now, hands to the ground, shift your hips back. Three nice big inhales and exhales, stretching that front hamstring. You guys are actually the first class that I've taught. My coaches have been doing all the classes and I've been doing a lot of personal training, but I really do enjoy classes. So a lot of our clients have been like hammering me to like teach classes. I'm like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll teach class, right? So this is, uh, this is my intro back into teaching classes. Good, go ahead and stand up, take your right hand, grab your right quad or grab your right ankle, stretch that quad out a little bit, right? Again, three nice big inhales and exhales. So thank you guys for um, thank you guys for joining me today. Um, yeah, great class. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I know it's like pretty tricky. I mean, here in the gym we have a lot of equipment. Uh, we've done a lot to help clients get equipment in their homes, which is again why um, if you guys don't have a TRX, this is beast mode. They're like really good. Um, and again, I'm gonna um, as it says, thank you for guys if you guys joining us and you guys supporting this effort. Um, take a you know a snapshot or do something, you know a sweat puddle on the ground or something like that, and tag. Uh, make sure you tag Class Pass, Body Space NYC, and myself. And uh, later on this afternoon, I'm going to do a drawing for that. And who knows, maybe we'll do like a, a couple of extra drawings for some like foam rollers and stuff like that, and things that you need at home and you probably should be doing at home and you're probably not doing at home. Foam rolling, better foam roll. So again. Uh, thank you guys for joining us today. Body Space, if you guys are in New York City and are looking for a home for personal training, that's what we do. Classes for the foreseeable future. Uh, just because of all the COVID restrictions, we're going to be doing that primarily online. We offer our online classes through ClassPass. So definitely make sure that you check us out. If you guys ever have any questions about fitness, training, life, all that good stuff, dude, feel free to hit me up. Uh, hit the Body Space NYC Instagram up. We'll definitely answer all your questions there. Um, awesome. So what I'll say is feel free to kind of like hang tight, let yourself cool down a little bit. I know I talked to you through, you can't, you can never really tell what people do in stretching lines anyway. Um, but yeah, just, just take a, a little bit of time. Definitely make sure you stretch out the hips and the quads, um, today. Um, hopefully you guys are doing a couple more of these classes. I know that the Trill Fit guys, the, the Tone House guys, my, my, my NYC folks are on there as well later on today. Uh, hey, DC, thank you for joining us, and um, thank you guys for supporting this effort. Um, I'm here if you guys ever have any questions or, or uh, you know, hey, Al Alexandra, um, yeah, do it on Facebook. I'll, I'll take a look at Facebook, and, and I'll see you there, too, so I'll make sure your name gets in the head. And I, I see you. I'll look, I'll look out for your name if you do it on Facebook, Alexandra. Um, great. Um, Jeanette, have a great rest of the day, and thank you for joining us. I know I'm like trying to <laughs> – thank, thank you for the playlist. You know, it's funny because sometimes I'm like I, – I work with a, a lot of my friends at Peloton, and it, it's, it's interesting to like make sure that you're going through a playlist that's like, is it friendly enough for everyone to listen to? What if there are kids around and the kids are listening to the playlist too? So I'm always like looking for that E next to the song on the playlist to make sure it's not too crazy. So I'm glad you – I'm glad you like the uh, I'm glad you like the playlist. Uh, yeah, no, hey, Alexandra, I, I hear you. I'm like kind of I get yelled at. One of my buddies, Kira Stokes, is she yells at me weekly for like not doing enough stories. I, I think sometimes she like comes through the phone and like beats me over top of the head for not doing enough uh, doing enough Instagram. But um, awesome. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, yep. There's the link for the studio. The stu thank you, Class Pass, for putting the studio link up there for body space fitness. And here's what I'll say, the coaches that we have teaching classes, uh, I, I, look, I think all of my coaches are amazing in beast mode. Most of them spend their time mostly doing personal training. Um, we have our own virtual training platform, um, but we love what we do with classes. And the guys who teach classes are, are sorry, the guys and the gals um, are amazing. They're awesome. So I uh, highly recommend checking them out. And then, you know, as we get back to life, um, I've been a big advocate. I was a part of the group here in New York City that are uh, in New York State 
that kind of pushed the governor to, to acknowledge the fitness industry. Um, guys realize that the majority of the fitness industry is small, um, boutique style, personal training and fitness places, not like myself. Um, it's going to be a long road for a lot of us to recover. But if you can do so safely, uh, please reach out to your neighborhood folks, your local folks, your folks through ClassPass, and 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 try to you know see what you can do to help them <laughs> to help them survive because it's uh, it, it's going to be uh, kind of a, a rough road back for the fitness industry. But I think if we stick together and support each other, like I said, well, as soon as a couple of my favorite places open here and you know spend some money with them too because uh we're we're a fitness ecosystem and we all do well when each other does well so thank you very much i think i'm gonna um i think i'm gonna end the live stream katie let me know if i'm if i'm not supposed to do that but uh natalia thank you thank you i'm glad you enjoyed the workout glad you enjoyed the workout again i'm um more than happy to um answer anyone's questions, whether it be fitness, diet, nutrition, let me know. I can uh, answer those questions or at minimum point you guys in the right direction. So, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Ivana and Ava, if if I did not plug, uh, it's funny. It's like, it's, it's like having a favorite child, but they're all your favorite children, but they're not my children. Now, they're awesome. And, you know, some of them, I think, are like really good at like working with and talking to people on the other side of the camera, just as good as they are doing it in person. So I think it's amazing. So thank you guys all. Uh, have a great rest of the day. And I hope to see you guys on the turf here at some point. But if not, jump into one of our classes, sign up on ClassPass, and we'll see you then.